Well, hello, hello, hello. Um, we're going to do some graffiti art today. Got a question for you. Have you ever played this game? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have. But have you stopped to think, why are you running away? Why? Just why are you running? Well, that's easy. Uh, you're spray painting on this guy's choo-choo train without permission. And as soon as you do that, you're off and running. And there's a lot of ways you try to get away. Yeah, you have hoverboards, you're jumping on top of trains. <laughs> there's even a jetpack. Yeah, but guess what always happens? Boom, you get caught. Because you didn't get permission. Well, this guy, his name is Bluh Lorette. He gets permission to graffiti all over the walls in Paris and London and all over Europe. He actually makes stencils, which means he draws on a sheet of paper. He cuts what he draws out. He tapes it to the wall, and he spray paints it. And it ends up all pretty and beautiful on the wall, okay? We're going to try a hand at it right now. All right, so we get our sheet of paper here, and we get a pencil, and the first thing we want to do is we want to write our name like super duper large. I'm talking humongous. Now, not so big that it don't all fit on the paper, but um, the type of you know art that we're gonna do today, tagging, graffiti art tagging, you wanna leave yourself enough room to color in the letters, okay? So it has to be really, really large. Um, after you write your name, we're going to take this white crayon and we're going to trace around the letters that you just made. Now, it doesn't matter uh, what color you use. I just used white because it shows up um, a lot better on this piece of paper. And I wanted you to see the difference between the two lines. You see the pencil line and then you see me tracing around the pencil line with the white crayon, okay? We're actually making bubble letters. Bubble letters, this is the easy way to bubble letter your name. Um, got the M done, got the R done. Go ahead and put the little dot there. And then we'll go ahead and do the P. Um, after we get this P done, we're going to use oil pastels to color it all in okay also while we have the white crayon in our hands let's go ahead and mark uh, the middle of our letters when we get to the oil pastels we want to uh, actually use two different colors one for the top and one for the bottom and I like to go ahead and mark where um, those two colors are going to be um, let's go ahead and take the sharpie now and trace over the white crayon mark not the pencil line only the white crayon mark that's going to give us a definitive line that we're going to need to stay inside of with our oil pastels okay make sure that we stay on the white crayon or whatever color crayon you use just make sure you stay on the color with the sharpie again i say Stay on the color line with the Sharpie. Okay, let's go ahead and get this done for the M. We're going to do the same thing for the R. And we're going to do the same for the P. All right, let's go ahead and get the oil pastels out now that we got all the tracing with the Sharpie done. Um, like I said, they're little mini crayons. Um, I'm going to pick two colors, this purple and this blue, two cool colors, in case there's anybody out there wondering. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now it's time to get the coloring done. Decide what side you want, the upper side or the lower side, or, you know, I guess I shouldn't say side. I guess decide what half of the um, letter you want to color, what color. I'm going to start at the bottom half of my M and we're going to color it the purple color, as you can see. Doing my best to stay in the lines and not go outside and color nice and dark. And you're going to notice something about these oil pastels, man. These things are smooth. O-M-G. You're going to love coloring with 
oil pastels. It's not like, it's, I mean, it's unlike anything you've ever used. Um, it's like crayons. I know I said it looked like mini crayons, but it feels just, it's almost like you're painting. It just feels real smooth, like you're painting with a paintbrush. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring the bottom of this M like that. Almost done. And then it's time for the R. Now, you can just do the bottom of all of your letters with the same color. But uh, I think I'm going to flip-flop. I think I'm going to flip-flop it a little bit. The bottom of the M, but let's do the top of the R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to flip-flop it. We're going to get the R done almost completed. And then we're going to go on to the P. And you know what? I think I'm going to flip-flop it again when I get to the P. So since I did the top of the R, what do you think I'm going to do on the P? Huh? 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 <laughs> yeah, I think you got it. We're going to do the bottom of the P. Yep, I'll get back with you when this part is done. All right, let's switch colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, sometimes these things wear down a little bit, and if that happens, you can just peel the paper off. Uh, sometimes they even break, so, you know, don't worry about it. You can still use it. As long as you can get a grip on it with your fingers, okay? No big deal. Um, so when you start with the second color, just color right up to that line, man. You just get right in there, trace right on that line, and then do the same thing that you did with the purple, just, just on the top half. I mean, there's really no difference. You just get in there, make sure you stay within that Sharpie line. That's very important. We want to keep our stuff nice and neat. Stay in that Sharpie line and color uh, color your best without leaving any of those little white spaces. You know, I always say clean up your work, clean up your work, clean up your work. Well, with oil pastels, I don't think you're going to have much of a problem with cleaning up your work. They're just so smooth when you're coloring with them. It's just going to be a joy to color. Um, you're probably not going to want to go back to crayons at all, but uh, crayons have their place. Crayons have their place, too, so don't get me wrong. I do like that wax of those crayons. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this M done. We're going to do the same thing with the R, of course, and then the same thing with the P. Yes, get that P done and just about finished. Okay, now after we finish this, you may have these little crumbs. Those are no big deal. They just shake right off your paper. No big deal. Um, and then we're going to get our finger. And this is the really cool part about oil pastels. You can blend the colors together. That's right. Use your finger, and you can move the color around on your paper. You see how I'm blending the blue into the purple you don't have that sharp edge right there anymore and i can even kind of blend in to clean up my artwork too uh provided you put enough um oil pastel down on the paper um if you colored hard enough i guess or colored you know dark enough you'll be able to move the oil pastel around. Now see I'm on the R and how easy that is. Man, I just I just kind of smooth that on into the other like we're blending. We're blending. Can you believe it? We're blending. We're blending and we're not even using like paint or anything. We're we're just using oil pastels. Now, your finger will get a little messy, but nowhere near as messy as it would if you were using like paint or 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 anything like that that you normally would be blending colors with. This is a really, really, really cool characteristic of oil pastels. You blend it together. Doesn't that look cool? That's just the neatest thing ever. Whoa, hey. 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 Do we take some? They only eat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hold it down, let me see. Nice. What you got going on over here? Okay, okay. 